Now in our final Spring Boot Soap Service tutorial, we will run our Spring Boot application through IntelliJ and once again test it with the help of Soap UI. Now that we've defined all our Spring Beans in the Web Service Config class, let's see if we can actually start running our application. We'll go to the SOAP server application here that has its run method built in that was generated for us. So we'll just right click and run it and see what happens. Well, oops, it looks like it's not finding this class, which probably means we're missing a dependency in our POM file. It is the Java X whistle factory, which is probably the class that is being used to generate our whistle. So let's do a quick Google search to see what we are missing in our POM. Coming up on Stack Overflow, it says we're missing the whistle 4 j dependency. So let's just create this dependency. We'll add it in our Spring Boot SOAP server POM file. We'll remove the version so that it picks it up. Now let's see what happens if we run a clean package now. We got a bold success. Now let's revisit our application class. And see what happens if we run it. Notice another difference here. Now we've got the Tomcat running inside of Spring, where we previously had Tomcat running and launched through our Maven plugin. It looks like our Spring Boot does generate our whistle for us, so that's good. Now let's go back to our original SOAP UI test and see what happens if we run it against our Spring Boot version of the SOAP service. We'll open up our original insurance request here and see what happens if we run it through SOAP UI. Excellent! Came back with a hard-coded response. Going back into IntelliJ, looking at the rest of our console log here. So essentially we've repackaged our original Maven Archetype project as a Spring Boot SOAP project. And that is it! We have just confirmed that our Spring Boot SOAP web service can be run inside IntelliJ and that it generates the whistle for us from our XSD document. It also performs as expected when we tested the SOAP web service endpoint with SOAP UI. In the description of this YouTube video, you will find a link to my Udemy class where you will be able to download the source code.